This is an aluminum electrode and another one. Uh, to prepare aluminum electrode is very simple. Uh, first, we don't have to use paper because it becomes another resistance in a battery. Uh, ceramic plays a role as a separator, so we don't need to use a paper. And uh, developing aluminum electrode elec uh, developing ceramic on the aluminum electrode is very simple. Just toothpaste. I think any toothpaste can be good. And just rub it as thin as possible. And we should make it dry to be a solid state in a natural state, in a natural environment. That's all. And then what what can I say? I don't remember. <clears throat> mm. I don't remember, remember. Ah. And then, <clears throat> if it is dried, we can use another electrode. One side is aluminum and the other is graphene. Just place the graphene onto the ceramic. Then we can make a solid state battery solid state graphene and aluminum battery. Mm. Very simple. Ah. What's important is we must not put more salt into the salt. If we put salt, if we use some salt to increase the current, we can find we can find that this toothpaste will not dry because to, uh, salt attracts moisture. Uh, don't um, don't put more salt. in the toothpaste because it attracts moisture and second uh, we must check out temperature also important to make it dry Temperature. Uh, temperature is important and don't put more salt. Just toothpaste is enough. Okay, have a nice day. Ah, uh, it will dry in a day, not not a few days.